Welcome back, troglodytes, to the Troglies Guitar Show, your daily dose of guitar information. For Fender Friday this week, we're going to take a look at the newly announced Lincoln Brewster Stratocaster. Now, in first appearance, it just looks like a regular Stratocaster with a sweet Aztec gold finish, but there's so much more to this one. But first, we need to answer the question, who's Lincoln Brewster? This one seems to fall under the same category as the Michael Clifford signature melody maker that I did a review on. Because everybody in the comments section, they were just a little bit confused of who this guy was, or they're a huge super fan. So let's do a little bit of history to fill us all in. Because that's about the only thing the Fender video didn't do. Lincoln Brewster, he grew up in Alaska and started playing a bunch of different instruments around the age of seven. By the time he was 12, he was in a band with his mom called Lincoln and the Missing Links. By the time he was in his late teens, he moved with his family to Modesto, California, and had several recording contracts offered to him by the age of 19. However, he kind of felt empty at that point in time in life, and turned to religion at the same time he turned down those offers. He still kept up with the music scene, but he was called by a guy named Steve Perry, you know, the singer of Journey, when he was doing his solo project for the love of strange medicine. Now he chose Brewster because he had a very similar playing style to the guitarist he's used to working with, Neil Sean. So Brewster toured with him for six months between 1994 and 1995 before moving back to California with his wife, where he worked as a sound technician to his church, eventually became the youth worship leader and associate music director. He kind of bounced around between churches in California. He ended up in Nashville for a little bit. And now he's currently the senior worship pastor at Bayside Church in Granite Bay, CA. So was he a super rock star? Not necessarily, but he's definitely made an influence to many people, and I think this is a great way for Fender to kind of get into a niche market and seeing the unsung heroes. So that's right, Fender just gave a church pastor a signature guitar. Let's learn about it. So this is kind of based off of a 57 style Stratocaster. He opted for an ash body, paired with a maple neck and fretboard with a compound radius going from 9.5 up in the cording area all the way up to a flatter 14-inch radius so the notes don't fret out on him. He also had them do an extra fret, 22 frets. For the pickups, he's rocking a DiMarzio Area 58 in the bridge, which is a little bit hotter than the other two pickups, the Area 61s. These pickups are said to offer the vintage single-coil tones without the vintage-style hum. As far as the tremolo unit, he decided to go for the two-point design feature with the bent steel saddles, and you can adjust the tightness of the tremolo arm in the back. And he went for a vintage-style locking tuners with short posts so they don't look out of place. Just looking at them here, it doesn't even appear that they are locking tuners. That's kind of cool. But if you move on to the back here, you can also see he had them contour the heel joint just a little bit, so it's a little bit easier to play higher up in the registers of the neck. But is that it? Is it just a fancy gold Stratocaster with DiMarzio pickups in it that just has locking tuners? Well, at first glance, that's kind of what I thought. It's like, yeah, it's just another Stratocaster. Nothing too crazy here. But then you learn something that's really kind of cool here. All of the added signature things are hidden. On the inside of the guitar is an onboard preamp boost. This is activated with a push-pull pot on the master volume but then the output level is controlled using the first tone knob. The volume pot then adds 10 dB of boost when it's on or off, and then the first tone pot is a 10 dB mid boost for all the pickups. And why these controls are kind of interesting is he says if you use the tone pot on the bridge pickup and roll it down to about a seven and then have your mid boost at a six or a seven, it makes the single coil sound like a humbucker. So now that we know all about this guitar, let's go ahead and hear some playing samples by Lincoln Brewster. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So I've got to say, this guy surprises me. Just looking at him, not knowing who he was, I wouldn't have guessed he was a pastor or anything. The way he talks and his mannerisms definitely make sense to me now, but man, his playing is fantastic. The only question left, would you rock the Punky Brewster? Wait, Lincoln Brewster, Fender Stratocaster, or not? Leave your answer down in the comments section below, and we will see you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care.